Previously on Hulk vs Thor Banner of War, Hulk has recently undergone a dramatic transformation. His alter ego Bruce Banner has split the Hulk's psyche into three distinct parts and turned his body into a star shape. Banner now pilots it from within Hulk's mind and fuels the star shape with his anger. For the safety of the humankind, the starship Hulk escapes this reality and sets his destination for an unknown place. Meanwhile, Thor, the king of Asgard, has recently taken over the role of his father Odin. After that, his hammer gets possessed by the billion raging souls of Mangok. During that battle, Odin died, and his spirit now inhabits Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. But as Hulk is accused of murdering some people in El Paso, Thor approaches him to apprehend him, leading an all-out fight between the two titans in the black hands of God Arena, which was built from the severe hand of a celestial. But as the fight continues, Hulk overpowers Thor and starts to hit him left and right. As there is no other options left, Thor lets his father Odin to take control of the hammer, and with a furious strike, it lands a thousand bolts at Hulk. But that doesn't stop the green monster, and Odin tells Thor that Hulk has been possessed by some unknown entity. Right at that time, as Mjolnir makes an impact at Hulk's head, Odin's spirit entered into Hulk's mind, and after some stressful fight, Odin then witnessed what really happened at that night in El Paso. As Bruce peacefully entered into that bar, some bikers had us chain. But right at that time, Hulk's race somehow passed from Bruce to everyone around him. And Bruce's mind also took over by some dark folks, and he brutally killed all of them and set the whole building into fire. But at the same time, Odin gets interrupted by Iron Man, who arrives at the battlefield wearing his new celestial powered Hulkbuster armor, and he is ready to take down Hulk once and for all. Welcome to Comics to YouTube channel. In today's video, we will review Banner of War Part 3 in Hulk issue number 7. You can find all the previous parts on this playlist. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and turn on all the notifications to never miss any future uploads. Please like, comment and share. All the text and images are owned by a suspected company. You can support them by purchasing it digitally or from any offline stores. The issue opens up in the battle arena of Black Hand of God, where the whole place starts to fall apart. And as Iron Man attacks Hulk with his new Celestial Hulkbuster armor, Bruce Banner is no longer able to contain his raging anger. During that fight, everyone starts to escape from that arena and Thor is witnessing the whole incident and his inner monologue reads as he watches the whole battle. At the same time, Tony Stark wonders, even with his powerful strikes, how Hulk is able to stand up to his fate, and also his power level is increasing. So he must quickly drain all the gamma radiation out of Hulk with his celestial Hulkbuster armor before Hulk bursts into rage and kill him. As the celestial Hulkbuster unleashes the celestial judgment of a hundred thousand exploding stars at Hulk, it causes Hulk's rage to reach a near maximum level. And before Hulk can do something stupid, Thor knocks down the Celestial Hulkbuster with a single strike as Mjolnir's Odin spirit took over his whole body for a second. And that one strike causes a critical damage to the internal systems of that Hulkbuster armor and also it breaks some of Tony's rib cages and fractures his collarbone.
as Thor approaches to Tony, he let him know that to defeat Banner, he must trust him and they need to work together to take down Hulk because he still don't know what Hulk is truly capable of. But right at that time, Hulk smashes the Hulk Buster and charges directly at Tony to take him down. But before he can do serious damage to him, Iron Man lands a direct punch at Hulk with his Celestial Hulk Buster. But all of these attacks only increasing Hulk's rage. But Bruce tries to warn Tony by letting him know that Hulk is not in a simulation anymore. He doesn't understand that both Iron Man and Thor are real. He can kill both of them. But Tony still provokes Hulk to fight because he believes that his creation, the Celestial Hulk Buster, will work on Hulk. But soon, Tony realizes he made a mistake. And as he tries to fight back, Hulk is able to power through all of his attacks. But before Hulk can kill him, Odin's spirit commands Mjolnir to pin down Hulk in an attempt to calm him down. However, Hulk doesn't take his advice kindly and he unleashes gamma radiated eye lasers directly at Hulk Buster. At the same time, Thor tries to reach his hammer. But right in front of him, a massive gamma explosion happens as Hulk's rage grows out of control and he explodes like a bomb which has the power of 3000 gamma bombs. As the smoke clears, Tony explodes the aftermath of that explosion in a radiation-proof armor. But then, Tony gets shocked as he sees that the gamma explosion leads Hulk to merge with Thor. And as the God of Thunder fuses with the Green Behemoth, the Chapter 7 of Hulk, Banner of War Part 3 comes to a close. So which part you like the most, please share your thoughts in the comment section down below and also please subscribe as this will motivate me to make more content. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.